Welcome bitches, one and all, to my action 2, season 2, episode 9 of Love Victor, Victor's Day Off. Now, quite a few things happened last episode. I'd say the main one was Victor and Benji are now on a break. And this was a result of Victor getting a lot closer to Raheem and sharing some stuff about Benji that made Benji feel rather hurt simply from a place of not being able to trust Victor, which is very understandable. We apply very awkwardly kiss Felix. However, Felix did say that he appreciates her friendship, so we'll have to see where those two go because I wonder if Pilar will be able to accept just being friends. We also have the storyline of Mia's dad moving away and therefore Mia moving away. And we thought it was resolved. However, the father right at the end said that he was actually going to move away. And so we're going to have to see where that goes. If Mia's going to stay living alone or if she's going to move with him. I don't know. So yeah, episode nine, two episodes left. This is the penultimate episode. I'm excited, but I'm kind of scared because I know there's a lot of storylines that we need to finish off. And if they don't get resolved this episode, that is going to be a lot of things to close off next episode. And if not next episode, then we're going to have to wait all season. And I don't think I'm ready for that. But yes, excited to begin. So without further ado, let's go. But Simon, my shit is not together. I don't think anyone's shit is ever together. So I told off the priest. Yeah, that was such a sick scene. Telling off might be a bit strong. Nobody had to hold my earrings, but I did tell Father Lawrence that we're quitting the church. Nice. Cool. Aww. Is everything okay? Not really. Is it something you want to talk about? No. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the problem when you both go to the same school. Are you okay? Benji and I are taking a break. What? Why? I don't know. <laughs> You? <laughs> hey, what do you say we get out of here? I was about to say, they're about to bunk off. It kind of works out for me, too. I have this test in third period, and I did not finish Lord of the Flies. Who knew a bunch of hot British boys getting stranded on an island could be so boring? <laughs> You're right. Let's just get out of here. But let's be stealthy about it. I don't want to get in trouble. Hmm. Then fix your face and unclench your butt cheeks, because you look like you just murdered your family, embezzled your inheritance, and started over in Boca Raton. Well done. I hope they don't go down the storyline of him going with Raheem. I want him to just have a friend. I feel like that's such a trope. Not necessarily a gay couple trope, but just a teen drama trope. I never would have pegged you as a cutting class type. It's just sometimes I feel like all these Creekwood kids are living in their happy little bubbles, and I'm not like any of them. My attendance in my A-levels was very low. <laughs> Anytime I was having like a bad mental health day, I just took it off because it's not worth it. I mean, we were supposed to go to Mia's dad's wedding this weekend, and now... Okay, so we just have to get your mind off of Benji. But everywhere reminds me of him. Then get out of town. I know just the place. I don't mean to be sounding so happy about this. <laughs> I just mean from the point of view that Victor needs to get a bit of joy. Remember when I told you I didn't finish Lord of the Flies last night? It's because I was coming out to my parents. Oh, shit. You were so bummed about Benji. I didn't want to make today about me. Aw. I wrote everything I wanted to say on a note card because I knew once I took it out, I wouldn't be able to bail. My dad said, I'm really happy you finally told us. Apparently my mom had discovered my internet search history when I was 12. Well. Been Googling Tom Holland plus penis. No. Oh my God. Tom Holland. I know. Tom Holland is fit. Don't, don't come at me for that. He is beautiful. For helping me be brave. Aww. Raheem, you did that all on your own. I'm, I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of you too, mate. Well done. Victor? Oh shit, this is awkward. Well, this is awkward. Victor, why aren't you in school? Uh, that, that would be my fault, Mr. Salazar. I, I had to miss school today for the Muslim festival of a thousand pistachios. Very sacred. <laughs> that sounds like such a bullshit story. This is uh, my friend Shelby. Friend. So nice to meet you, Victor. Your dad talks about you all the time. The touching of the arm. He does? When? P flag. Shelby and I, we know each other from the meetings. Oh, Victor ain't dumb, mate. Can we talk for a second? Shelby and I, yes, we're seeing each other. It's very new. It's too new to tell you about, but here we are. You know, this is very awkward. I think that this is a much bigger conversation, and maybe me catching you skipping school is not the best time to have it. Yeah. Your friend over there, he's pretty smooth, but I wasn't born yesterday. Exactly. <laughs> it's a very Come stupid on. excuse. If you head back to class now, maybe I'll forget to mention it. I mean, how's he gonna know if you go back though? <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question? Uh oh. Do you think your parents should get back together? Exactly, that is the big question. Do you think that they're right for People always want people to get back together, but the way that I, the way I always saw my parents' divorces, I always saw it as the kind of, 
you got to do what you got to do to make yourself happy. And if you're not going to... Who am I to try and make you do what benefits me when you might not be happy in your own life? We all get our own life. We all get one life. I'm not going to sit here and make my feelings result in you doing something that doesn't make you feel filled in your own life. You know? It's just one of those things. you got to think to yourself, do you belong together? And if you don't, you got to end it as soon as you can because then you can actually live your life to its fullest. You know? It's a sad thing. It's a very awkward thing in life, but it just, it has to be done. Last year, they were constantly fighting. Sometimes I just wish they'd get the hell away from each other and give us all a break. For that, they're pretty magic together. Hmm. What are the odds the first person you date is the person you're supposed to Exactly, marry? and you change so much as you grow. Victor's changed so much in this past year. It's time to turn the self-care up to an 11. Who are you talking to, Raheem? Okay, why do you keep grinning at your phone? Yeah. This guy, Charlie, I've been talking to on one of those apps. You know which one. Well, let me see. Mr. Grinder. Wait, are all these headless torsos in Atlanta? This is just guys nearby. <laughs> it turns out there's a ton of gay fish in the online sea. <laughs> you should ask him if he wants to meet up. You said I get to pick what we do today, and this oh. is what I pick. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually going to do this. This always gets me with online dating. I never trust people. I would be constantly in fear that they're a catfish, you know? Benji's not working today, and plus, I know where we keep the pepper spray in case Charlie turns out to be a 60-year-old murderer <laughs> whose kink is decapitating high school students with the box cutter. Well done. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I would so let him decapitate me. Maybe don't start with he that. He is cute. Charlie. Hi. I don't know why I just said hi like that. I'm nervous. It's fine. Nice to meet you. Why does he seem so awkward? Is he like in the closet and is very uncomfortable? The chili mocha latte is my personal obsession. She's serving spicy. She's serving sweet. You need her in your life. Her is in the, the coffee. Uh-oh. Bit chained down with the gay lingo. You're, you're just different from... How I pictured. What do you mean? No, oh, I just, like go. the, the way you talk and like the way you are. Uh, I tend to go for guys who are a bit more masculine. I knew it was coming. I fucking knew it was coming. Yeah, that's just my preference. Yeah. No, if you're not into it, you're not into it. Well done. I kind of wish he decapitated me instead. <laughs> Listen, you've always got to look at the positives. It's better to get it out of the way now than to waste your time talking to him any longer and have met him in three weeks, you know? I can't believe you just saw that. No, he should be embarrassed. What a dick. Yeah. I, I get it. If he's into masked guys or whatever, I'm never going to be that. Don't let one stupid boy ruin what's great about you. Exactly. You're tall, you're smart, you're super handsome. Super handsome? Oh. Stop. I'm just <laughs> saying that objectively, you're a very good looking guy. You're a catch, Raheem. And uh, if we went to a gay bar, you would totally clean up. I'm pretty sure you would clean up at a gay bar too. Yeah. Victor, you are beautiful. Let's be real right now. This man is beautiful. Oh shit. Does, does she know? Oh, well that's gonna be a bit awkward. Why don't we go to a gay bar? <gasps> really? I, I don't have like an idea or anything. So I went to one in New York and they never even checked. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Act confident and try to make yourself look older, like like beaten down by life. No. <laughs> Sneak in, boys. Nice. Oh damn! I've never been to a gay bar because I just I don't know I just don't like loud noises. <laughs> Sorry, this is. I'd go to a gay coffee shop. <laughs> this is the first time in my life where I feel like I know. Yeah. Surrounded by your peeps. Oh, look at them. Oh, it's so nice seeing them having a good time. Your number one hottest thing about a guy is his brain. Yes. <laughs> then a great smile. I wouldn't be mad at a cute hockey butt. So you're into athletes. <laughs> what about you? What's your type? Uh, Benji. Benji was the only real life guy that I ever considered going for. Wow. And you went for it. And he went for you back. It's more than a lot of us can say. Listen, that guy Brass Town was a total ass. Yeah, go fuck yourself, mate. I've never had what you and Benji have. I've never even kissed the guy before. Oh, you will. Hey, it's karaoke time. 
The first one of the night is Victor and Raheem. What did you do? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Oh my god. What are you singing, boys? I hear a lot about sinners. I know that the actor Victor is actually a good singer, isn't it? I've seen a live stream. I'm excited. There's a way that the sky opens up when we touch it. It's making me say the way Reem's like, wait, bitch. <laughs> they say we're too young in. The pimps and the players say, don't go corruption. Will you hold me, hold me, hold me? This is so sweet. Oh no. Feel so holy, 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 holy. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. On God, run into the altar like a track star. Can't wait another second. On God, the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Feel so holy. Well done, both of you. That's sick. Victor Salazar. <gasps> How did she get there? Did she track him? A very worried woman called me from your school, asking if you were feeling any better from the poison chimichangas that I served. <laughs> your brother showed me how to do find my iPhone. Oh my God. Raheem, can you give us a minute, please? Yeah, Raheem, can you go to- <laughs> You're playing hooky now? Hanging out at bars? When I tell Papi about this? He knows already. We, we bumped into him at lunch and he was with some woman that he's seen. Oh shit. Is this why you're acting out? Are you upset about me and Papi? I don't know, maybe that's part of it, but I think Benji's breaking up with me. We got into a huge fight and now he's not talking to me. Why didn't you tell me about Benji? Because mm. I thought you might be happy. Happy? Aww. You've still got a long way to go with each other. There's a lot of mistrust in there. I need there. you to hear this. Your happiness is my happiness. She's always loved you. If your heart is broken, so is mine. And I know you said that Papi is the love of my life. That's only sort of true. You kids are the love of my life. And I know that I didn't make you feel that way this year. I'll never forgive myself for that. But I accept you, Victor. I love every single part of you. And I will spend the rest of my life to make sure that you know that, okay? <laughs> and if things with Benji are really over, I know you'll find another wonderful person, not person, another young man who is just <laughs> right for you. Oh, oh my God, my heart. Oh, Isabel, you have grown so much and I really do appreciate you. God, he needed to hear that. It's so nice having his mum there for him now. I feel like he probably needs life changing moments outside of gay bars. <laughs> How many gay bars have you been to? <laughs> Uh, uh, hey, I just wanted to, uh, thank you for cutting with me today. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Me too. Best fake Muslim holiday ever. I love them together as friends. Let's be clear. I should probably go inside and finish Lord of the Flies. Oh, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Good night, Raheem. Good night. Don't kiss. Don't kiss. Don't kiss. Don't kiss. You're still with Benji, technically. This is not going to be a good idea, Victor. Victor, no. Good. Well done, boys. Well done. Even if there is something there, now's not the right time. Benji? <gasps> it's Benji. Take the call, honey. I'm not here. I'm just... <laughs> hey. Yeah, it, it was weird not talking all day. I missed you, too. I, I, I don't want to rush back into things, either. I understand. He doesn't want to go with me to Harold and Veronica's wedding. Aww. We need some more time to figure stuff out. We. But maybe a little more time will be a good thing. Yeah. Sucks, but for a lot of people, it'll, just having some time alone fixes it all, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Whether you stay together or you break up. That was a really nice episode. That was such a lovely episode. I love, I don't know, Victor and Raheem, I really do enjoy them together as friends. And the ending scene makes me think that obviously there's something more between them. And I'm scared that next episode there might be a issue for Victor between choosing either Benji or... Like choosing to stay with Benji or breaking up and maybe pursuing things with Raheem. Which I don't... I don't like that storyline to be honest with you. 
Because I really do think that Raheem and Ben, Raheem and Victor have a, such a nice thing going as friends. And you kind of need those people in your life. People who are like Simon is to Victor, but someone who's actually around because unfortunately Simon can't be around. Simon's obviously older and he lives in another state. So I feel like it would be good for Victor to have Raheem around as a friend. And I don't know, just pursuing a relationship with the next gay guy you found, it just doesn't sit right with me, to be honest with you. I don't know. They obviously get on and they obviously share a good friendship with one another. I don't know, the, the thing that makes me iffy, to be honest with you, is the fact that he's still with Benji. And we've already gone through so many issues with people cheating on this show that uh, it would just be such a bad way to end it, have Victor choose one or the other. And them spending this time apart, I do kind of agree with it, to be honest with you, because we've seen Victor has changed so much in this past year. Like, the person who we saw season one, episode one, compared to right now, is completely different. They're completely different people. And that alone has changed Victor so much that maybe Benji just isn't right for him anymore. Like, I hate to say it. I know they've only been together over the summer and all that. And uh, Over the summer, you can argue Victor was the same that he is right now because that was the big change. But I don't think so. I think Victor's just continuously changed. And especially with Isabel now accepting him, that was a huge weight on his shoulders and a huge thing bringing him down and holding him back. That for that now to be sort of resolved, I feel like Victor's changed even more. And Benji's just kind of been the same person the whole time because he had already gone through all this stuff before and we were seeing the quote-unquote finished product of Benji at, right at the beginning. So I don't know. I don't know if they are right for each other anymore. I would hope that they are because they were really cute together and they were really loving towards one another. But as we've seen these past few episodes, they've got some issues that they need to work on. And I agree that some time apart should be good. However... They need to discuss, like, they need to discuss these things. So long as they have time apart and then they sit down and have, a, like, a full-on conversation, go over every issue that they have and try and figure it out, I don't think that anything can go forward because they've got so many things that, like, they keep arguing about things, about trust and not handling things the right way and not being empathetic to one another, that they just need to go through these things and understand each other more because they haven't been together that long. Like, real, like, realistically, they have not been together that long. I don't know. I would just hate for Victor to, quote-unquote, throw away his relationship with Benji because he's met Raheem and they've had a good time. You know? It's just... Mm. I just don't like the storyline that the only other gay guy in the show is a potential suitor for Victor. You know, I would just... I would appreciate just a friendship out of it. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. We didn't have any more development on basically any of the other storylines because this was a Victor-centric episode. So we don't know what's happening with me and her dad. We don't know what's happening with Felix and Pilar. We didn't even see Pilar this episode. So my fear for next episode is obviously these episodes aren't that long and we've got so many storylines to cover. We've got Victor and Benji still not speaking. So we're gonna have to have them have a conversation and all that. We're gonna have Victor try and sort out his feelings between Benji and Raheem. We've got Felix and Pilar to sort out their issues. We've got Felix and Lake to potentially sort out their issues. We've got Mia and her dad to sort out their issues. It's like, there's so many things that I just don't see them all getting resolved. And I feel like we're gonna end the season with a lot of questions, which can potentially be good because it would lead into a season three, but I don't know. I like to have a lot of storylines like that resolved by the end, but I just feel like we're not gonna get it. Swear to God, if they leave it on a cliffhanger of Victor, not knowing who he wants to be with. Uh, that would annoy me so much. It is so lovely seeing Isabel and Victor be close again. Because I think that's something that we've all missed. Something that is something that you it's something that you really have hoped for Victor this entire time that he got. Yeah, I wanted him to be with Benji. Yeah, I wanted them to have like a nice life and all that. But him and his mum had such a nice bond, and we even saw that in season one, that it was always a very Sad thing to know that his mum didn't accept him and his mum was having such a hard time with it. When to the general audience, it's not something that you should have a hard time with. Do you know what I mean? It's something that... It, it's the reason that I was so annoyed with is Isabel at the start of the season. Because it's so easy to see things in black and white. So easy to see things as she's a horrible mother because she's not accepting him and all that. But she grew up with these beliefs. It was drilled into her head. 
the main thing to focus on out of all of this is that she saw those beliefs, she saw what was taught to her and she went against it. Not only that, she left the church that she had just come into, just like grown a bond with the vicar and all that, the pastor, I don't know his name. And like, you know, she found her place in that community with the church and she left that for her child. And that is the main thing to focus on. She changed her beliefs. She started loving Victor again. And yeah, it was just, it was very nice to see. Obviously very awkward with Victor's dad and his potential new lady. I don't know how I feel about it. I, like I said before, I think they do need a break, but to go into another relationship this quick, eh, I don't know how I feel. It's just a little awkward. Cause you're in the same town, you're around the same people, your kids are gonna be dealing with it as well. I don't know, I feel like people need, I feel like they all needed a bit more time before moving on to this stage, but alas, here we are. But yes, another great episode of Love, Victor. I'm scared as to how little time we have next episode that everything's gonna be resolved or not, but we'll have to wait and see. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We're able to find the uncut reactions to Love, Victor and all the other shows that I do. If you enjoyed the reaction, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>